Super Charger. Before we start explaining about this system, we must first know where this idea came from. Well, historically the idea of this system is credited to the brothers Blander and Francis Marion Roth from Indiana, USA in the year 1860, when they thought of using this system for a simple mechanism. As for cars, it belonged to the German Goodlem Dimmler, one of the founders of Mercedes company. He was the first to use this system on an engine in 85. But the car to use a supercharger correctly was for the engineer Lee Chat in 1998, as it is speed at that time reached 160 km per hour, which is an imaginary speed at that time. So, how does the supercharger work? A supercharger is an air compressor that increases the pressure of the air supply to the internal combustion engine. This is helped to produce high power output as the engine gets more oxygen in each of intake cycles and helps it to burn more fuel. And there is three most popular types are Roach type, twin screw, centrifugal supercharger. Let's start with the Roach type. It is consists of two screw of the same design. And from inside there are screw blades that pull the air from the top and compress it to the second end and enter it to the engine. This is type is widely spread by manufacturers. Second, twin screw. Unlike the Roach type, which have different screw, male and female, and the boost who generates in twin screw more than Roach. <laughs> Last one, centrifugal. A lot of people think centrifugal means turbocharger, but the famous company who made it is a pro charger. In fact, it is a turbocharger. But we take the exhaust tip off and replace it with a pillar or leading spinning wheel and attach it to the engine. But the problem with the supercharger is that it takes a lot of power from the engine because it powered mechanically by means of belt or chain connected to the engine's crankshaft. Therefore it is not preferable to use it in small engines. It is preferable to use it in big engines like 8 cylinder and so on. Also, its response is faster than turbocharger because it is attached to the engine. And blower, compressor, supercharger, it's all the same thing. Yeah. 